Welcome to NI's Compact Act Temperature Measurement Hardware Bundle Overview. If you're testing your products under different temperature conditions and you want to have a simple setup with confidence in your test data, then these bundles are right for you. We will be covering the CDAC T1101 in this video, but NI understands there may be different test needs as well as needing to be mindful about your test budget. So we do offer different temperature bundles for you. Check out the technical resources to learn more. All these bundles include what you need for a one-stop shop for general purpose thermocouple measurements. Use it from everything from simply getting some temperature temper chamber data into Excel or adding temperature measurements to a more sophisticated test bench. So let's look at the bundle. We have the CDAC T1101, which includes our most popular general purpose thermocouple measurement hardware. It has built-in signal conditioning for your thermocouple's needs, such as built-in isolation and cold junction compensation. And you can also directly connect a thermocouple with bare wires into the spring terminal, no soldering or screws required. This entire bundle is very compact, so it won't take up much space, and you can port it to different labs when you need to. And since it's rated to withstand negative 20 to 55 degrees Celsius, you can avoid those long thermocouple wires and put it right next to your device under test. But now let's talk about specifics. What we're gonna get into the box itself, what are those extra things you might need, such as sensors and software, and I'll even show you it in action at the end. So the box includes four specific components. The first one is our compact duct chassis with a USB cable for the chassis, a temperature input module. I currently have a thermocouple connected to it. It is not included in the box. And lastly, a back shell specifically for the module. For those of you unfamiliar with the Compact Act chassis, it's a rugged, compact, and modular platform that you can connect directly into your PC with slots for various C-series modules. So you can add or swap out modules depending on your changing requirements which brings added flexibility to your current and future test systems. In this specific bundle, we have the CDAC 9171, which is a one-slot compact DAC chassis. You can see that it houses one module right here. With the chassis comes a USB A to B cable, and this is what connects the chassis to the laptop, and the cable also provides power to the entire system. The module that is bundled with this chassis is NI's most popular and general purpose temperature input module, the NI9213. You can connect up to 16 NIST standard thermocouples with bare wire connectors to gather all the data you need in one system. And depending on if you have 16 sensors connected or just one, you can have as low as four points of temperature data every second or as high as 75 points of temperature data every second, respectively. As most thermocouple sensors output a voltage, the incremental changes in temperature will be proportional to the voltage out. So having a quality sensor is important to detect those small changes. But what's even more important is having hardware that can also detect that. So this temperature module is rated for 24 bits resolution, and you'll be able to detect these changes from a range of plus or minus 78 millivolts. Lastly, the back shell can be used for operator and strain relief, relief protection for the thermocouple wiring. So now that we have all the NI hardware, you can see that I have the bare, K bare wire K-type thermocouple that is connected right into the module. And pro tip, the first row in the connector of this module is a no connect. It's labeled NC on the right side of the channels. And so we're starting in the pin zero, which begins in the next row. You'll see that the cable is already connected to the laptop, and if I connect the cable into the chassis here, you'll see there's an extra screw, so you can confidently have that connection secured regardless of what happens. In order to interface with this hardware, I would need to download and install NI's free hardware driver, NI DACMX. This driver includes an extensive library of functions to use within various softwares to interface with NI's data acquisition hardware. To showcase the measurement, I'll be using NI's no-code data logging software, FlexLogger. But you don't need to use this software if it doesn't work with your needs. For more advanced capabilities and controlling multiple test system, NI offers LabVIEW, our graphical programming environment. If you need both of these plus more, such as web interfacing or creating generating automatic reports, 
and it offers a bundle of software in the test workflow bundle. But if you want to code in your preferred language, you can interface with this hardware in Python, C, MATLAB, and much more using the DACMX driver. But now let's see this bundle in action. So in this laptop, I've already installed the latest DACMX driver and FlexLogger, and I've connected the chassis to the laptop itself. But now when I need to connect this module, the good thing about compact DAC chassis are that it's hot swappable. So I don't need to disconnect the entire chassis to it insert or remove a module. There's only one way to insert modules into chassis. So I can connect it here and you'll hear a nice little click and you know that the connection is secured. So when we go into the laptop, FlexLogger automatically recognizes the chassis as well as the module that's inserted in here. I've already gone ahead and configured that first channel where we have the measurement, the thermocouple sensor connected, and you'll automatically see that there is a lab, live value. If we want some other visual representations, we can go into the screen. I've put in a few indicators that you can see here. We have a graph so you can see it directly, as well as just a normal indicator so you can see the actual numbers. Now let's kind of test this out. So you'll see we have it at ambient temperature and I'm gonna to touch the end of this thermocouple here and you'll notice that it goes up as it gets a little hot and go back down as it reaches ambient temperature. If you'd like to collect this data, all you have to do is hit run and it will collect a TDMS file and a CVS file if you so choose once you hit the stop button. So go ahead and purchase your bundle today to get quality data for your tests and flexibility for future projects and changing requirements. Click the link below to check out the bundle prices and if you'd like to compare to the other temperature bundles. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Feel confident in your test system by choosing an I. Thanks for watching.